Our next speaker, Kevin Drum. Oh no, he didn't say that. Oh no, he didn't say that. Kevin Drum. Thanks, bud. Go ahead and have a seat. But Dad, I know this speech better than you. <laughs> My son just turned 13, and I just turned stupid. <laughs> Anybody else ever been there and done that? Yeah, the day he turned 13, Dad was stupid. If you don't have teenagers yet by chance, you've got something to look forward to. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, I was prepared for this. I had been warned about it. But there was a far greater event in this life. It helped me realize how little I know about anything. 1990, 18 years ago, what was the big event? I got married, of course. Ever since then, I have found out how little I really know. I just don't get it. Anybody else like that? One spouse, either side or the other? All the men are raising their hands. <laughs> I'm not just talking about the little things. Like, when my wife said, how'd you like dinner? The truth is, my mom's cooking was bad. <laughs> but that was not the right thing to say. I thought of the vegetables because I really liked vegetables growing up. Fried oak or fried squash. My wife gives me the lecture that my mom cooks with fat back. Hey, I liked it. What can I say? I didn't like my wife's vegetables. But I never should have told her. I got the cholesterol lecture. 20 years from now, I'm supposed to be scared of cholesterol, and I couldn't believe what was on my plate. But there were far greater transgressions and mistakes I made. How many in this room have heard the term regifting? <laughs> Just in case. This is a gift. If I give it to you, that is okay. I'm a gift giver. If you give it to me, I'm a gift giver, and that's okay. If you give it to me, and I put it in the closet because I don't want it, and then my wife gives it to someone else, that's regifting. That's okay. That is okay. I may be a problem, but that's okay. Early in our marriage, a couple sent us a wedding invitation. They were from our church. Truth is, we were in between on this. We didn't really want the invitation. Some of you had that. We didn't feel obligated to go to the wedding. But we had to send a gift. And that fulfilled our responsibilities, right? So I left it in my wife's capable hands. <coughs> she picked them out a nice gift. She went to the closet. She rummaged around through the things that she had put up that she didn't want. She got out a nice pot and pan set that we had gotten as a wedding gift several years before. That's what I give for a wedding gift, right? So she wrapped it up and she gave it to him. That was okay. Unfortunately, the guy called me after getting this gift. And I was a little bit, let's just say I was watching TV and I didn't even want to talk to the guy. I don't mean to be mean, but he said, that gift is a duplicate. Where'd you get it? I need to know. I was a little irritated. I went back and forth with him and I finally said, look, I don't know where it came from. We got it several years ago. <laughs> My wife thought you would like it, so she gave it to you. Enjoy it. <clears throat> I guess some of you know that I messed up. <laughs> Big time. There was a bigger mistake. And in my lifetime, I'll never know why I made the next one. But when my wife got home that night, for some reason that I'll never know, I told her about it. <laughs> Much bigger mistake. What did she say? Kevin, you've embarrassed me. How could you do such a thing to me? That's the stupidest thing you've ever done in your life. I'm like, what did you want me to do, lie? Of course you lie, and everyone knows that. I don't know what it is, but when a husband does something really stupid, the wife's got to go tell a friend. I've been, been doing a lot. She goes across the street. She comes back. She says, I told Tara what you did. And I'm like, I guess she took my side because you're being ridiculous. That was the wrong thing to say about that. Do you want to know what Tara said is what she said? And I'm like, 
you know, you're going to tell me anyway, so why not go ahead? <laughs> she said, oh no, he didn't say that. There are rules about what a husband can say when a wife forgives someone. But who knew? I thought we were going to have to leave our church over this. But we didn't do it. Fast forward to 2006. My wife and I are expecting the birth of our second son. 11 years after the birth of our first one. And by this time in marriage, I have wised up. I knew what I was doing at this point. Because it's hot in Charleston in the summer, right? And it's a lot of extra work for the lady to be pregnant. So I'm giving her all the comfort she needs. I'm doing the right things. I'm being the good husband that she always wanted. It's early June. My wife is due June 29th. I had a vision, and I was, I mean, I had a true vision. I said, honey, think about it, Cheryl. Wouldn't it be cool if our son was born on the 4th of July? <laughs> and I was ready for her to jump on my vision. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing you've ever said to me, Kevin. How could you say such a thing? I want to have this baby now, right now. I want this baby out of me. I am hot, fat, tired, miserable. My husband is an idiot. <laughs> Shut up and give me some ice cream. <laughs> My vision's crushed, and what can I say? Honey, is that chocolate or vanilla? <laughs> I mean, what else can you say when your vision's crushed? One, one scoop or two? <laughs> <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever meet my wife, Please don't tell her I told you this. <laughs> that one still makes her mad today. There's just one more thing, fellow Toastmasters. If you ever meet my youngest son, Jared Drum, and it happens to be the 4th of July, would you please wish him a happy birthday? <laughs>